my name is Lydia Sher, author and musician. Uh, I have written an urban fantasy series called Love, Lies, and Hocus Pocus, The Adventures of Lily Singer. And there is a talking cat in that series. So I thought you guys might like to meet Gizmo, the inspiration for Sir Kipling. Gizmo is, an, a bit, is a bit of an obsessive licker, so generally whatever you put in front of her face, she will start licking it. Um, this makes life very interesting around the house. Uh, when she was a kitten, she used to lick huge wet spots in the couch, but she's gotten a lot better since then. Uh, we adopted her as a kitten. Unfortunately, uh, she had her tail amputated because of an injury. She was found in a ditch um, and had necrosis in the tail, so they had to take it off. Uh, but we adored her from the first moment that we saw her. She actually reached her paw out of the cage and grabbed onto my husband's shirt, and that's kind of how we met. Um, we love her to death. She is my little fur baby. And her love for us and her faithful kind of pack animal attitude is the inspiration behind um, Sir Kipling's loyalty in the books and how he sticks by Lily's side. Even if he does annoy her rather a lot, um, he sticks by her and takes care of her um, and always does whatever he needs to to help her out. And uh, Sir Kipling is, uh, oh, Gizmo here is my uh, object that I study when trying to figure out cat behaviors and how to describe what they do and... She does a very cute little cat loaf on a regular basis. Yes, see, yes, there's my hand. Yes, you may lick it. She's like, yes, it must be cleaned. She likes making sure I'm very clean. She also likes gifting me with hair. Uh, she keeps me warm, wants to make sure I have plenty of hair. Yes, now you get to clean yourself. All right, bye-bye, Gizmo. Say goodbye to all of our viewers. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the books on LydiaShera.com, and you can find them on Amazon. There you go.